In this video, we're going to be taking a brief look at Captain America's costumes in Avengers. So just like the Iron Man one, I'm going to be looking at the unique character models as well as any comic book reference costumes, any costumes that are references to stuff from the comic books. So unlike the Iron Man one, the structure of this one's going to be a little different. In that one, I went through the comic costumes and then the original designs and then the movie designs at the end. With this one, I'm just going to be starting with the iconic suit and then moving up in rarity along the way. So let's start with the iconic suit. If you've seen my Avengers video critique, then you already know why I don't like this costume. But to summarize here, I don't like all the armor and padding. I think it's just too much. It makes him really bulky and gives him an unflattering shape. I don't like how embarrassed the costume seems of the more comic booky elements of Captain America. But really, the main problem with this costume is just that he doesn't look like Captain America. If you took off the helmet and the shield, you could say this is like any vaguely patriotic themed superhero. I've seen some people in my comments say that they actually really like this costume for Captain America because they like the more soldier-esque design for it. And I kind of understand that. But the thing is, I think that's actually part of the problem is that he doesn't really look like a soldier. He looks more like a police officer. It's mostly due to the color scheme, but he looks more like a SWAT officer or something. Despite my issues with this suit, it's honestly not hard to fix. There's a recolor in the game called Americana that has a much better color scheme. I think a uh, middle ground between that suit and the iconic suit would actually look really really good. If you do that for the colors and then just get rid of the stupid pouches on his stomach and just put the stripes there, then I think the design would actually be pretty solid. This one, honestly, is like a 2 out of 10. There's also a recolor of this called US Agent. I'm not going to grade it as like an actual attempt at the US Agent costume because it's just a lazy recolor, but I mean it's okay. If you like the suit and wish it were black and red, then it's fine. I think it's actually like slightly better, but I mean that's, you know, you make anything black and red and it looks cool. So if I had to give it a grade, I'd give it like a 3, but I... I mean, I'm not really being serious with that. I don't consider this a serious attempt at the US agent costume. Next up is the suit Secret Cure. This one, it reminds me of a few comments I got on the Iron Man one defending the crappy makeshift costumes he has. And the defense was that it makes sense for the story, so that means that it's okay for it to look like crap. And look, I understand, sort of, right? But here's my issue, right? Just because a design makes sense for a story doesn't mean that it's a good design. Like, look at this suit. I completely understand its role in the story, right? It makes sense in the story. He looks like a patient in a medical facility or something, and, you know, that makes sense for where they find him in the story with this suit. But does it look good? Would you ever wear this once the story is over? No. This suit, I'd say, honestly, is like a 1 out of 10. And I'm only giving it a score that high because it has story significance. Next up is the suit called Super Soldier. This is actually Cap's default costume when you play this game. You'd think it would be the iconic suit since that's his canon costume, but you actually have to do a side quest to unlock that one. A side quest I still haven't done and probably never will since I don't like that costume. So this one isn't very good either. Now yes, there are some inaccuracies to its comic book counterpart. This is clearly an adaptation of the shield director suit that Captain America wore. It's missing the red stripe down the leg. There's a recolor of this suit called Freedom Fighter that actually includes the red stripe, but it adds these red stripes on the chest, which it doesn't look bad, I suppose, but it doesn't look the way it did in the comic book, so I, I still don't like it. And it's missing the buckled boots that were in the comic book version as well, instead just having more standard normal looking boots. And yeah, you know, it's not a perfect adaptation of the comic book, but that isn't really my main issue with it. My main issue with the suit is the giant zipper they put on the front of it. Now, I understand why it's there. Crystal Dynamics made it really, really apparent that they want their costumes to look realistic. And I think they deserve some amount of praise for actually achieving this goal. This suit, for example, looks realistic. I believe that a person could realistically put it on and take it off. However, it doesn't look good. This big zipper, it reminds me of the CW superhero shows where the 
superhero costumes are just like repainted leather jackets. A detail like this, it just makes the costume look cheap, like cheap cosplay or something. With all that being said, the design isn't awful, I guess. It's just very bland. Uh, I'd give this one like a 4 out of 10. Next up is the suit American Dream. And with this one, you can see most clearly another huge problem with Captain America's design, and that's his physique. Captain America just isn't very muscular in this game. He has a pretty decent physique for a normal person, but he's a superhero. He shouldn't just have a decent physique, he should have a superhumanly impressive physique. And he doesn't. I got a pretty good comment on my Avengers video saying that part of the reason the characters look so weird in this game is because they're not built like superheroes, they're built like normal people. They lack these things called heroic proportions. If you've ever drawn superheroes or if you've ever tried to learn how to draw superheroes, then you probably know what I'm talking about when I say heroic proportions. It's these set of standards of how the body should look for a person to look like a superhero. Stuff like broad shoulders, narrow waist, long legs, that kind of thing. And the heroes in this game just don't have that. Again, I think you can most clearly see this in this costume since he's shirtless, but Cap's physique just isn't that impressive. And before anyone tries to defend his body type, here's the thing. The people making the game agree with me because they actually released a skin later on that is an improved version where they made him more muscular. Not only that, they actually removed this version. You can't buy the less muscular version now. Only the more muscular version called American Made is available for purchase. The less muscular version just isn't there anymore. If you had it beforehand, you can still use it, but I don't think you can buy it anymore. So American Dream, I'd say, is like a 2, because, like, come on, all you had to do was make a muscular dude, and you didn't do it. Like, come on, guys, come on. American Made is a little bit better. Uh, if you're into the shirtless look, then, you know, it's maybe, maybe good to use, but personally, I don't really care for it that much, but it's okay, I'll give it like a 6. Next up is the suit titled First Avenger. There's a lot of stuff I don't like with this costume. I think the colors are kind of weird, like he has the big red gloves, but then his boots are black. The helmet is a different shade of blue than the bodysuit. And then you have the body, right, the chest area, which is just super padded out, and it makes him look fat. The biggest issue of this suit is that there are multiple other suits in this game that do basically the same thing, execute basically the same idea, just in a better way. The suit itself, it's not the worst one in the game, but there are multiple better options, so I'd give this one like a 5. This one also has a black and red recolor called The Captain, which is what Captain America called himself after he lost the Captain America title in the comic books, and he actually wore the US agent costume, before it was the US agent costume. So, their version of it, it's a really crap recolor. The other US agent recolor was not terrible, I guess. You know, it had the sideways stripes on it, so that was something, at least. This one, if it wasn't called the Captain, then you wouldn't even know that's what it was supposed to be. And so I'm not gonna, like, treat it seriously. I'm not even gonna give it a score. Just wanted to point out that it exists. I'd rather it didn't, but it exists. Moving on is the Route 66 costume, and this one's just okay. It's like a 6 out of 10. The thing is, since this costume costs money, I think a lot of people just aren't ever going to use it. It's a perfectly fine costume. It's a cool kind of biker look for him. But again, because it costs money, I just, I personally, I would never spend on this. There are better costumes to use, and I, I just wouldn't use it ever. If it was free, I, I'd give it a shot, but I would never spend money on this. The suit Frontline offends me. This is based off of the World War II suit that Captain America wore in the Ultimate comic books, and I wasn't the biggest fan of that costume, but this version of it, I could, I could go into hyper detail talking about all the wrong parts of this costume and why it's not really anything close to the comic book, but I mean, you can just look at it, right? Just look at the two pictures I've put here. They're very different. They have the same basic idea, right? He has a helmet. He has goggles. He has a jacket, right? It's red and blue and white. Why did I say it like that? It's red, white, and blue. Not red and blue and white. What? That doesn't make any sense. But the actual design of it, the details, are all wrong. They're all wrong. 
and you know you can you can argue about details and accuracy to the comics all day as long as you want but the issue is I think it looks worse than the one in the comic book they've made all these changes but are they changes that are good I would say no I think the one in the comic book looks cooler and this one in particular, you can't say that it was changed for realism because the original artwork by Brian Hitch is very good, first of all, and secondly, it's very realistic. I think this costume in particular, you can see how it would be very easy to translate into a 3D environment. But if I had to guess, I'd say that this costume was made because they'd made another suit first, the Glory Days suit. They probably made that costume first and then said, hey, if we slap some goggles onto it and recolor this, we can say it's that one World War II suit. And the reason I say that is because when the game first came out, I saw a lot of gameplay clips of people using this suit and the goggles would cause issues on Captain America's face. There were all these like graphical issues with him, his eyes would bug out and stuff. So that makes me think that the goggles were a pretty last minute addition, that they didn't have time to check for bugs and glitches and such. So yeah, I think I think they made this one later as like a very half-hearted attempt to make something comic booky so that they could put it in as the pre-order bonus because yeah, this suit is only available as a pre-order bonus, which means that you can't get it anymore today. Oh no. Yeah, this one's like a 2 out of 10. The Glory Days suit is fine. I mean, it's it's pretty similar to what Captain America wears in the first Avenger movie when he saves the prison camp. So if you really like that, if you really like that one scene in particular, then yeah, I guess this costume would be cool for you. It's like a, a 4 or 5 for me personally. Next up is the Stark Tech suit. I've seen a lot of people say this is one of his best suits, specifically one of the best suits you can get for free, and I'm not, I'm not really a fan. I do see why people like it. I think part of it is that it fixes one of the issues the Iconic suit had. And that issue is that the Iconic suit falls into this awkward middle ground where it's not armored enough to be a good heavy-duty armored look for Cap, but at the same time, it's too armored to be a good normal look for him. This suit falls firmly into the heavy armor category, which I understand some people can like. I don't like it that much because it really is just the Iconic suit with a bunch of metal stuff slapped onto it. So, I, I do think it is better than the Iconic suit, but it's still not good. i say this one's like a 5. Next up is the suit Boot Camp. It's Captain America in a t-shirt. This suit has a much more exciting recolor called Ultimate Day Off, which is a reference to Ultimates 2. And I'm a big fan of the Ultimates, but I don't like this costume, and I think you can see why. If you look at it, and you look at the comic image I've put next to it, you can see that, once again, he's just not muscular enough. This t-shirt skin, and you'll see in a lot of the other suits as well, uses the original smaller physique, not the fixed buffer physique, so he looks not as good. If he was just more muscular, I think that would actually help the costume a lot, but as it is, he just doesn't quite look right. I'm giving this one like a 6 out of 10. Next up is the suit Rebirth, which has the same issue I just talked about, where it's clear they're using the original physique and not the improved, more muscular version, so again, he just looks too small. Outside of that, it's just Captain America in a tank top. I give it like a 5. Next up is the suit Just the Basics. This one's okay. It's I guess it's kind of like a cool stealth costume, kind of, but really, it's just Captain America in a turtleneck. If you're into the more minimalist type of designs, then I can see this really working for you, but me personally, I don't really like it that much. It's not bad, by any means, but it's just not very good, either. It's like a 6, honestly. Next up is the suit called Classic. As you can see, this isn't actually Captain America's classic suit. If anything, it closely resembles this image from the story Captain America Living Legend. It's a fine costume. It has things that I like. I like the color scheme. It looks like Captain America. I, I know that shouldn't be <laughs> that shouldn't be praiseworthy, but in this game it is. However, there's plenty I don't like. Once again, the chest area is way too overly padded and it makes Captain America look fat, which I really, really don't like. The only reason I can think of as to why Cap's costumes are so padded out in this game is that they knew Cap's physique was really small, so in order to try and compensate, they padded out his costumes in order to make him look bigger. 
But the problem is, is that there's no muscle definition, so he doesn't look more muscular, he just looks fat. If you look at superhero movies, they usually use muscle suits underneath the costumes to avoid this issue. That way, you can still see the muscle definition underneath the fabric. That's not realistic, because that's not how muscles and fabric interact, but it looks better. This game's dedication to realism, again, actively makes the characters look worse. It has really long red gloves, but then the boots are short, normal-sized boots. It's this awkward contrast between the super long gloves and the normal-sized boots, and I really don't like that. And then there's this really funny one, which is the wings. The wings on the side of his head are colored black. This has to be an error, right? This has to be a mistake that they somehow still haven't fixed two years out, because there's no way that was intentional. I mean, if this really was supposed to be Captain America's classic outfit, then the least they could do is make the wings, you know, white or silver, right? Why are they black? This one's like a six. Moving on, we have the modern suit, which is the suit that Captain America wore when he was a Hydra fascist, so maybe not the best name, but if you've seen my video talking about Avengers, then you already know why I don't like this costume. To quickly reiterate, it's just worse than the original in every way, for basically no reason. I'm not really a huge fan of the Hydra Cap costume, but oh boy does it look so much worse here. I'd say this one's like a 3. Moving on is the suit called The New Vintage, which is their actual attempt at Captain America's classic costume. This suit is one of Captain America's most popular suits in this game, with a lot of people praising it and saying that it's really, really good. I don't really agree. This is going to get super complainy, so strap in. It has the same long glove, short boot problem I talked about with the other classic suit. Everything about the scales I don't like. I don't like how it's broken up into different sections with this like piping, I don't like that. I don't like how the scales are square. Most of the time in the comic books, Captain America's scales are circular, almost like fish scales. I vastly prefer that design. But there's squares here, and it's not because it's some bold artistic choice, it's because they're reusing the scales from the modern costume. That's why it looks like that. It's also missing the star on the back. In a video game, since you're staring at your character's back most of the time, it helps to put something there, and he doesn't have the star. Instead, he just has a metal plate, which I'm assuming is supposed to be the magnetic shield holder. So you could try and defend this costume and say that it's more realistic this way instead of having the star. But here's a thought. Why not have both? Why not put the star on his back and have that be the magnetic shield holder? That way you have both the cool design and the functional reality. You'd have both of them there. That could be cool, right? They didn't do that, but you know, it would have been cool. But the thing that really, really bothers me is that he's still using the game's unique version of the shield instead of the classic original shield. So I haven't talked about this yet, but Captain America's shield in this game is different than the shield he has in basically everything else ever. Crystal Dynamics' original shield design isn't bad. I don't dislike it. I just prefer the original shield, and for this costume specifically, since it is supposed to be the classic Captain America costume, I think it would look better if it had the original shield. But it doesn't. So there's a lot of stuff I really don't like about this costume, but I guess it is okay, right? They tried, at least. So this one's like a 6, I'd say. There's a recolor of this called Federation, which is a reference to the Avengers Federation, a team that showed up for like three panels in a comic called Space Punisher, a super obscure comic that nobody has ever read. It's pretty faithful to its source material, I guess. They even went out of their way to recolor the shield for the suit, so that's kind of neat. Um, but I would never see myself wearing it. It's like a five, I'd say. The Secret Empire suit... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just look at it. Just look. It's just a lazy recolor. They didn't even try. <laughs> yeah, it's like a two. Moving on is the Cap Wolf costume. This is a reference to a real thing that happened in the comic books. He became a werewolf. That, that was pretty funny, huh? Pretty funny idea. And if you look at it, you can tell that something looks off. And yeah, his fur is a different color, but that's not what I'm talking about. If you look at it, 
He's not as menacing, he doesn't look as monstrous, and I think the reason for this is that they didn't make him look like a werewolf, they made him look like a real life wolf. If you look at wolves, the real ones, you'll see that for the most part they just look like really big dogs. And I think that's what they use as inspiration for Captain America here, because he doesn't look like a werewolf, he looks like a dog. I'm also going to give this one like a 6, it's not the worst thing ever, and I do like that they actually attempted to make something as wacky as Werewolf Captain America, but I think the actual execution is a big failure. Next up is the cell shaded costume. This one is actually really really cool, I like this one. Really my only problems with it are that, once again, Captain America isn't very muscular, you can see this pretty clearly with this costume, especially if you look at the comic book image I've attached next to it. He's just not as impressive as his comic book counterpart, so wearing a costume that looks so close to that really highlights how not muscular this version of Cap is, because again, they're still using the less muscular body type that they originally made instead of the fixed, improved one that they made later. And the other issue I have with it is that he looks out of place. Not just with the environment, but with everybody else, since he's the only character who has a cell shaded costume. Outside of that, I think this one's really cool. They even gave him the classic comic book shield. That's a pretty big win, in my opinion. So I'd say this one's like an 8 out of 10. Up next is the suit Urban Eagle. When it comes to superhero video games, I want the superhero to look like a superhero. This is a very normal military outfit and it just does nothing for me. I understand some people might like this. If you like costumes that are very bland and basic and boring, then hip hip hooray, this is for you. But I don't really like this one. I can't even really say anything about it, it's just so... dull. Which would be fine if it was free, but this thing costs ten dollars. Personally, I'd give this one like a five. Up next is a suit Ultimate Patriot. This is based off of the Marvel Now era of comic books, the suit Cap had during that, and this is seen as one of Cap's better suits in this game, but I don't really agree with that. I never liked the Marvel Now Captain America costume. It wasn't bad, but I thought it was too busy. It had just too many lines and stuff on it. This version adds even more stuff. There's like lines and seams everywhere. They added blue lines to the white sections on the arm. That just doesn't look right to me at all. I don't like the helmet. It looks like it's a size too small, like it's squishing his head. I also don't like how much of his hair you can see coming out of the back. It reminds me of those cheap Halloween masks that's just the front, so like the back side is completely uncovered. And once again, they put a big zipper down the middle. Why? There's not a real guy in there. He's just a 3D model. He doesn't need to get out of the costume. You didn't have to put a zipper there. It adds realism, I guess, but at the cost of having the costume look cheap. That being said, I do see why people say this is one of the better ones. It is a somewhat faithful recreation of the comic book costume, and once again, he does actually look like Captain America. So this one's like a six, I'd say. Next up is the suit Gladiator. This suit is from, I believe, a tie-in to the 2015 Secret Wars story. This one is recreated near perfectly to the one from the comic book. The only thing that seems off is the hair, but hair is actually pretty hard to make in video games, so I'm somewhat gonna give them a pass for that. But outside of that, it is nearly identical to the one from the comic book. They even went out of their way to make the shield different, which is pretty special. While I can't deny its quality, I also can't say that it's something I would ever use, so I'd say this one's like a 7 out of 10. Next is the suit from Infinity War. I got a lot of comments on my Avengers video arguing against the point I was making about Captain America having a stubble in this game looking weird, and they used this costume to show that he isn't clean shaven all the time, as if that somehow went against my argument, but like, dude, this costume only supports my argument. In Infinity War, in the movie, he's no longer Captain America, he does not have that title anymore. So just as I said in that video, him growing facial hair is a sign of him falling on hard times. It's an unusual situation for him, so he has an unusual look to match. This costume only strengthens my argument that he should not have facial hair all the time as his default appearance. All that out of the way, this suit is fine. The design of it is okay, it's just something I personally not super into. If they had released this game like three years earlier, 
and this costume had came out just when the movie was coming out, then maybe I'd want to wear it because of that, but that didn't happen, so I don't, I don't really want to wear this one. I'd say it's like a 7. Next up is the suit from the first Captain America movie. This one's really good, I really like this costume. And when you look at this one, you can really see just how bad some of the designs in this game are. Most notably the classic suit and the first Avenger suit, that's an ironic name. Those ones are pretty much the same idea as this costume, but I think those are done far worse. Both of those have those overly padded chest designs that just look awful. Whereas this one, I think even though they tried to make the suit look very tough, and protective, he still doesn't look fat. Those suits had that awkward long glove short boot problem. This costume has proportionate gloves and boots so they don't look mismatched. The stripes on his abdomen being the straps that hold the suit together, that's a really cool thing. That's a really cool design detail and it's that kind of thing that merges realistic design with cool fashion design whereas I feel like this game only tries to go for realism and kind of forgoes the looking cool part of it. So yeah, this one's, I think this costume is really good. I like that they gave the shield the scratches and stuff that it had in that movie. I think that's pretty cool. The only thing I, I really don't like about it is that they included that strap across his chest. And I understand he did look like that for most of the movie, but I just don't like it when a superhero's symbol is covered by something because I, I like the symbol. I want to see it. So I wish they wouldn't have done that, but it's fine. I understand that. I'd say this one's like an 8 out of 10. Next is the suit from the first Avengers movie. This isn't a bad suit, but it has the same problem that it had in the movie, which is that I think the helmet looks goofy. Additionally, there's absolutely nothing on the back of this costume. So that problem I was talking about where in a video game you want to put something on the character's back. Yeah, that's definitely there. But still, it's a pretty good costume, it's very faithful to the movie, I'd say this one's like an 8 out of 10. Next up is the suit from Captain America Winter Soldier, and again, when you take this costume and you compare it to the Super Soldier suit in this game, which is pretty much the same idea, you see just how much worse the costumes in the game are compared to the stuff from the movies. This suit is a little more accurate to the one from the comic book, it has those big buckled boots I was talking about kind of has the red stripe down the leg. I don't think it goes down the leg, I think it's only on like his thigh a little bit, but those are design details that don't really matter that much. What matters is that he doesn't have a big zipper running down the middle, because the people who made this costume are professional costume designers. They went out of their way to hide the zippers on the costume so that it looks very professional and very cool, and it's recreated perfectly in this game and I think it looks really really good. This one has the blue shield that was seen in the movie's opening. I think that's a really cool detail. Personally, I don't like the blue shield that much. It seems like the leaked, unhelmeted version actually has the red shield. So if that's true, then it might be the only helmetless option that's actually better than the original. I'd say this kind of seems like an 8, 8.5 out of 10. Last and certainly not least is the suit from Avengers Endgame. I'd say without a doubt, this is the best costume Captain America has in this game. I think Captain America's costumes in the movies generally do a really good job of being both faithful to the campier comic book roots of Cap's costumes while also being realistic and cool looking. And I think this costume is the ultimate culmination of that. It has the wings on the helmet, it has the stripes on the stomach, it has the scales, but it's also at the same time a cool and unique costume. If you look at the suits in the movies, after Winter Soldier, all the suits Captain America wears are pretty much the same design as that costume, just with like different colors pretty much. So this suit has the same gloves and boots as that suit pretty much. I, they might be like a little different, but it's pretty much the same thing. But the thing is, the costume designers were smart enough to know that getting rid of the red gloves and boots means that you have to kind of compensate with red on other parts of the costume. So they give him a little red underneath his shoulder, they give him red on his forearm and on his thigh, so it still looks good, right? It's not entirely blue. It's just a really, really good costume. And on top of all of that, I think it has the better shield design since it is using all the movie suits use the shield from the movies. So all of that put together, yes, I would say this is the best costume Captain America has in this game. So yeah, I'd say this costume is like a 9 out of 10. 
I've gone ahead and made a tier list actually of these costumes. The link is in the description, so if you disagree with me or if you just want to look through them and see what you think of the costumes and where do you put them, you can go ahead and do that and, you know, share it and stuff. That'd be cool to see what other people think. Mine would look something like this. My next video isn't going to be Avengers or even superhero related, but I still will continue looking at the characters' costumes in Avengers. Again, I'm not entirely sure who I'll do next, but it will continue. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time. Thank you.